Okay, now we're going to show you how we do the sealed batteries. It's a little different operation. Of course, you still need your safety glasses. Now, this is where it gets different. You need an electric drill with a stop drill bit, which is set at a shallow depth so you won't drill through and hit the plates in the battery. You'll also need caps so that when you're done adding your chemicals and water, you can seal the battery back up again. You still need a battery post cleaner. You still need a plastic funnel. And you still need the additive. You'll notice it's very dry and it's very easy to pour in through the funnel. Okay, this is a sealed battery. You can see there are no holes in it for caps. I've done something that we don't normally do, which is I've, I, when I steamed off the label to get at the battery so I could see it, I also removed this piece, which I would normally not do. If you look at this, you can see how these batteries work. When the battery is being charged, the moisture comes up and hits the inside of this and drips back down into drains and puts it back inside the battery again. So the water never gets lost. Okay, now, as you know, we have to drill holes in this battery to get into it to add either water or chemicals or both. Now, the only way we can do that is we know what these batteries are like because we've had them apart many times. If you look inside, there are dividers between the cells. You could also see these round holes here that line up with these round holes in the battery. So, if you turn the cap back over again, this cover, and if you look at it, you may not be able to see it in the light, but there are impressions all the way through marking where each hole can be drilled. And I have taken a pencil and marked the center of each hole right down. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill the holes in the top. Sometimes you have to drill a pilot hole because the half inch drill bit that we normally use tends to slip on the top of the battery. What I've got here is what they call a center drill. It, it's a little different from a stop drill, but you can at least get a pilot hole started with it. You notice the tip is tapered. And I'm going to make these holes now just so you can see how we do it. It doesn't take much, just a place to get the larger half inch bit started. That's it. That's all you got to do. Just like that. It helps if you got a drill like this that has a slower speed on it. Okay. Okay, now that we've drilled the pilot holes, I've replaced the uh, pilot drill with a half inch stop drill bit. Remember that this drill must be a half an inch. This collar that we have on here prevents the bit from going all the way down and smashing the battery plates. So now we'll go ahead and make these holes. Okay, now we drilled the holes and we performed all the tests like we did in the previous video. Now we can seal the battery back up and we use our special caps and you just insert them in the hole and press them down and just give them a little tap and they go right in.